I just had an exciting delivery. Uh oh, my least favorite thing in the world. Look what's inside. Yuck. Stuff. I really don't want to have to clean this up again. Let's see if I can get the boxes out without. Okay. Let me go and do this in the bin first. Okay, I found this while I was um, yeah, emptying that out. A few more scraps. Okay, here we go. This is going to come out. Not easily. This is the worst unboxing ever. That's right, folks. It is my new microscope. Whoa, it has arrived. Can always do with some more silica. So we've got a whole bunch of different lenses. We've got, I think it's an adapt lens adapter. It's the mount for the head. Let's put this back on. We've got another box to open. Polystyrene, so good for the environment. I appreciate it being packaged well for the trip, but polystyrene should be banned worldwide. Okay, and this is the arm, and that is huge and heavy. Holy moly. I didn't realize it was solid metal. Oh, look at that. This is the articulated arm. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if my desk is strong enough to hold that. I hope so. Look at... Look at the clamp to hold it. That is some serious... Now I understand why the articulated arm was so expensive. I was not expecting... This is solid steel block. Wow. This is going to weigh at least... Three kilograms, four kilograms. Wow, nice. Okay, so that's the arm, that's my scope. Let's take a closer look at all the parts but on my desk. Okay, I'm gonna try my best to open this all and show it to you. Just move these out the way. We'll see what's inside those in a moment. So we have Hmm, that must be the cover. We have the mounting head that it fits inside. I assume, somehow. Okay. I assume there's some instructions somewhere. I don't even know what any of this is. Obviously, the uh, a lens or an extension or an adapter for lenses. It looks like two different size connections, so it could be an adapter. Allen keys. So let's look at the small boxes first. Shouldn't these be different lenses? Yep. Okay. You have to read up what they all are. Be another one in there. One of these is a Barlow lens, I'm not sure, this is a two times something. Here, this is the 0.5 times. I believe this is the Barlow lens. This allows you to have extra focal length. And of course, the actual scope. Wow. That looks very clinical. Of course, I'm going to have to set all this up, but I'm going to start with just working out what's what. We have a box. One of these boxes will have the recording equipment for this. 
have an Australian plug? No, we don't have an Australian plug. Okay. We've got a remote control, we've got a wrong adapter. So this itself is the camera, the recording camera. That's where the camera fits into. And as you can see here, we've got HDMI out. You can put a little memory card in, USB out, and you've got controls for the camera and the DC jack. Okay, cool. And then this, I believe, will be the light. Yep. Excellent, another non-Australian power supply. So this is an LED ring that fits around the bottom of the scope that's used to light things up. That is a lot of LEDs. Okay, cool. And I assume that's a... No idea. <laughs> no idea. I'm going to make the assumption that some instructions are going to be somewhere. I'm going to hope there's some instructions. Because that's all the boxes open and there's no instructions. Maybe there'll be a video online somewhere of how to put it all together. I surely hope so. We've got a USB cable and we've got a pretty super long HDMI cable. But it's one of those flat ribbon ones. I've never had a lot of success with flat ribbon HDMI cables. But that is pretty long. Cool. And of course, as I said before, this I believe is a cover for it. Like a raincoat. Looks like one of those cheap raincoats. Yep, it's for my head. No, it's not. Okay, that's all the bits and pieces. This is my new microscope, folks. Ooh, smooth action. How do I look? Yeah, no, probably couldn't even see that on camera. Not to worry. That's it, that's my microscope in pieces. I need to learn how to put it together. I will do that and I will show you how it works and what it looks like. Okay, I've got my microscope set up. I've tried it a few different places to attach it to the desk. I ended up attaching it at the back of the desk, which means I get some full movement to bring it forward and I can push it back and out of the way when I need to, which is pretty cool. I've got my camera set up with the HDMI output, as you can see, and I'm currently plugged into just the monitor over here for now. I probably won't be using it like this often, but it was just to test to make sure it's working okay. I'm going to use this HDMI cable to go into my stream. So on my stream, when I'm using the microscope, you'll be able to see what I'm doing through the HDMI output, which is cool. So all in all, it was pretty simple to put together, but there are a few little gotchas with my order. The first big thing is they forgot to supply me the eye guards that go here. So the eye guards are the plastic rubbery pieces that sit around here that you rest your eyes onto. Because I don't have any eye guards, I can't really look to my microscope lenses properly right now because any slight movement I do with my head blocks my vision. So there's no place to rest my eyes, there's no place to, to focus from. Unfortunately, although they sent this package out to me via FedEx, which is great because it got here in like six days, they won't send me the eye guards by FedEx, even though it was their mistake. So they are shipping it to me via e-packet, which is going to take about two weeks to get to me. So that's pretty much two weeks I can't use my microscope properly. That's going to be frustrating. But for now, I can at least use the HDMI output if I need to. So the arm's quite easy to move around, as you can see. It's got a lot of weight to it. It's quite steady, but I'm going to have a problem when I'm streaming that any time I really bounce the desk, there's going to be some wobble, as you can see. It's a pretty solid desk, but there's just so much play from the back of the desk to the front that a small bump will give wobble. So hopefully there won't be a lot of people getting seasick when they look at the HDMI output. Now, this is pretty much as far out as I can go. I'm using the Barlow lens right now, so what I've done is I've reduced my magnification and I've increased my focal length, which is pretty cool. I can adjust the height. Here, I can go up and down on the actual main unit. I'm finding that just having it down all the way is pretty good. I can zoom in and out. So if I zoom in here, I can then adjust my camera's focal. And as you can see, I can get pretty, pretty close to work. Now, one of the issues I'm finding is there's no real diffuse over the light ring at the bottom. So it's super bright and sharp and it makes it very hard with the reflectiveness of the board to sometimes actually see what I'm doing 
but that's a pretty good level of zoom on the camera. And in terms of what I'm actually seeing through the eyepieces, when I, when I can look at it at the moment, it's even better and clearer. But obviously the, the colour quality coming out through the camera, I mean I've done a white balance on it and if I turn this light off, you can see colour wise it's fairly good, but um, I'm just amazed that for instance to be able to put my finger, you know, there's my nail, wow, bad nail. <laughs> How bad do my nails look under here? It's pretty crazy. So you can, um, it's not even in focus, let's see if we can focus. There you go, everyone's got my fingerprint now. It's an amazing amount of detail to the microscope, I have to say. But until I can get used to working through the eyepieces, I don't know how easy it's going to be to work. But you can see here, I've got, hang on, I mean I can lift it further up, but right now I've got 20 centimetres worth of work area under here at that zoom at magnification. That's pretty crazy. And I can, as I said, I can definitely increase that. I think the highest I can go is, let's find out, 25 centimetres. Assuming I can even focus at this level. Still learning how to use it. So overall, I'm pretty happy. I was disappointed that I left out some pieces. A couple of other things. It was an expensive microscope. Well, I believe it was expensive. I know you can get much more expensive, but it was, you know, just under $1,000 it cost me. And it came with European power plugs which I was a little bit disappointed on. I know there are only, there's two of them. They're 12 volt little wall warts. It would have been nice to actually receive some Australian ones. Sure, they're only $20 each, but it's another $40 worth of um, power adapters I had to supply. It also came with no manual. Uh, even though the packing list says there's a manual, there was no manual, so assembly was interesting. It was easy enough. I just had to watch some YouTube videos. But um, again, for the price point, I would have expected to receive at least some assembly instructions. Although it was fairly straightforward. As you saw, it came in a lot of different pieces. The arm is quite easy to put together and it's quite well balanced. Um, I can actually lock it in place with this little lever here um, so I can stop it from going up and down. Now, I'm going to have to work out some cable management because this is a bit yuck. Right now, the HDMI cable isn't long enough to go all the way back and I'm going to need something even better to go to my PC all the way around for streaming. It actually came with a HDMI cable, a really long one, as you can see here, but it doesn't work. So that was a bit disappointing. But anyway, that's it. This is my new microscope. I am not really going to be able to use it properly until I get my eye guards. Maybe I'll do another update video about that in the future. But otherwise, yeah, I'll be able to stream, I'll be able to work through it, and I'll be able to build some little tiny picos. Thanks for watching. I will catch you all next time.